Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and comic book nerds. I am vengeance. I am the night. I am Speed Yard. And also Batman. And this is Arkham Asylum. As a medium, it would be fair to say comic books have struggled. Readership has fallen and prices have risen. However, the characters and stories comics have told are still strong, as evidenced by the numerous movies and games based on them. This is perhaps no more true than with the Dark Knight detective, Batman. Since his creation in 1939 in Detective Comics No. 1 by Bob Kane, he has remained a mainstay of the comic book pantheon and retained a strong position in our modern mythology and popular imagination. Most comic book games never had that quality that let me know that this was a world I had to visit, an experience I had to have. But that's not the case with Batman Arkham Asylum. The Dark Knight rides the streets of Gotham. This night's venture already concluded. That's Warden Shop to you. Bowles! Yo, Frank, hey, how's the wife and kids? You miss me? Shut it, clown! <gasps> A lot of people here really want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't mind walking. Ugh. Not so tight, boys. You'll crease the suit. <laughs> Get that filthy degenerate out of here. Warden, something's not right. I'm going with him. Like Dante into hell, like Aeneas into the underworld, Just Batman ventures here. into the yes, heart sir. of madness He's, uh, itself, Arkham Asylum, the very distillation of all he opposes. Sharpie loves his cameras. Hey, Sharpie, you getting my good side? Ah, but heck, they're all good, aren't they? <laughs> Look at all this new security. How's a guy supposed to break out of here? New patient in the intensive treatment lobby. All non-essential staff to vacate the area. Oh, it's always nice to return to my sweet little <laughs> hacienda. This is not the first time. Much like the mythologies of old, Batman and the Joker are caught in an internal cycle. Batman captures him, returns him to Arkham, refusing to kill, refusing to end it all with a gun. And the Joker escapes, bringing only further tragedy both to Gotham and to Batman himself. And then it begins anew. I want Joker searched again. Uh, he's not the patient, it's... Ooh, would you sneak in with your bats? Come on, tell me, tell me. Batarangs, bat claws, ooh, bat smacks. Scan is green on Joker. Open the gate, get him out of there. I want weapons on him at all times. Do not let him out of your sight. That Man, gentleman is Cash. Aaron me. Cash. He's awesome. Only got one hand? Doesn't stop him. He'll be with oh, us throughout the story. Is that a crocodile I hear? <laughs> What's up, Doc? Pencil me in for tomorrow at four. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Keep behind me. Hello, new patient. This is Quinn. 
Quincy Sharp, Warden of Arkham Asylum. Ooh, it's my favorite show. I'm Warden Idiot. You'll never escape. <laughs> Joker's as likely to kill his own men as his victims. Yet these thugs, themselves more or less sane, still flock to him, preferring insanity to order. The state of the wiring in these federal facilities is quite shocking. My boys over there could have been hurt in that unfortunate fire. Just gotta check your prisoner, Officer Bowles. Whatever, just be quick. Only following procedure. Well, patient seems to be in satisfactory condition. Looks like he suffered minor lacerations, probably in the last two hours. There seems to be. <laughs> Need to take my temperature? I'd be happy to drop my pants. He's all yours. Get him out of here. He's good. Get the door open. Category 9 patient in transit. Pacification system active. Shoot to kill permissions granted. You heard the lady. We got another psycho on the way. Can you smell the excitement in the air? No? Hmm. Must have been one of the guards then. Crock, old boy! Is that you? Killer Croc. The original story was that he was cursed with a skin condition, much like the Elephant Man, that made him an outcast from society. Now he's become something a bit more than that. In case you were wondering what happened to Aaron Cash's hand, Croc ate it. What's it doing? I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you down. Get that animal under control! A toy collar won't stop me from killing you, Batman. I'll rip you apart. Eat your bones. That reminds me. I really need to get me some meat. Okay, juice. move up. Not where you're going. <laughs> the night is young, Vance. I still have a trick or two up my sleeve. I mean, don't you think it's a little bit funny how a fire at Blackgate caused hundreds of my crew to be moved here? <laughs> I thought I told you to stay quiet. Oh, Frankie. You really should learn to keep that fat mouth of yours shut. It'll get you into trouble. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. What are you really after? Oh, nothing much. Hundreds dying in pain and fear. All their meaningless lives brought to a horrifying conclusion. All thanks to you and a book of matches. Was that the answer you wanted? All patients should avoid contact with prisoners from Blackgate Prison Facility. Their presence... <laughs> What's he doing? Stay where you are. Get a flashlight! Get a light on him! Our presence in our institution is temporary. Why? Don't you trust me? Our guest has arrived. Nothing else could have conveyed such a powerful sense of how dangerous the Joker is than this opening segment. A clown laughing and mocking so, everyone around him, back. restrained and under constant armed guard, yet dominating the room, Only inspiring three. fear and horror by his very presence, while he rabbit? laughs. Long night, Jim. <laughs> Joker invades City Hall and holds the mayor hostage. 
leaving it to me to juggle SWAT teams, the media, and you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. Hopefully the last one we'll ever have with him. Yeah, right. Hold it there. Sorry, Batman. Arkham staff only. I assure you, if anyone's qualified, it's... Uh, listen, I appreciate the assistance, but he'll unsettle the more violent inmates. <laughs> I think he's talking about you, Bats. Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome here. Gotta say, it's good to be back. <laughs> you okay? He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. At least he's back where he belongs. Get up! Now! <laughs> Joker's loose. Alert the warden. Hurry! We're <laughs> the joke's on you. <laughs> Ta -da! Honey, I'm home. Come on in. <laughs> Welcome to the Madhouse, Batman! I set a trap, and you sprang it gloriously! Now let's get this party started. Ladies and maniacs, I apologize for this interruption to your regular entertainment. Up until a few seconds ago, I was gonna kill everyone in the room and the bunch of cartoons. But then, well, you know how I do love a casual audience. The Joker is stalling us. He doesn't expect his men to defeat us, only hold us up for a bit. I just warm you up, Bats! Fresh from Black Ink Correctional Facility! With a combined sense of 752 years! Ding, 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 ding! It's round two! Ah, sorry, Bats! Gotta run! I got to get No people just play. However much the Joker desires to hurt Batman, he wants him to see this night through. He may have his own plans, whatever they may be, and he will do everything he can to prevent Batman stopping them. But make no mistake, the Joker needs Batman to see this night through to the end. I'll find a way out. Gordon, try and contact the Warden. Let him know what's happened. I'll be back. Don't make promises you can't keep, Bats! I'm in control of the asylum. You're not going anywhere I don't want you to. Understand? If you think I'll let you run... Bat, bat, bat. Always with the hero speed! Ooh, I'm getting bored of watching you. Why don't you just come find me? <laughs> You know it's a trial. Of course it is. This is who the Joker is. He stalls us, then beckons us on. He cracks jokes one moment and murders dozens in the next few seconds. Joker's been busy. These poor guards never stood a chance. All patients should take their medication at the prescribed times each and every day. Prescribed doses must be... Why? The Joker will do everything he can to slow us down. The lives of innocents, the guards, his own henchmen, his closest allies. He will sacrifice them all in an insanely single-minded focus on his little game. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's up? Joker's escaped custody. He's running free in Arkham. Do you need anything? Is my dad still there? Commissioner Gordon is safe. Joker's not far ahead. I'll stay in contact. Oracle acts as Batman's hacker slash information specialist. Her true name is Barbara Gordon, daughter of Commissioner Gordon and former Batgirl. Thank God. It's Zaz. He's got Mike. He's strapped in the chair. Zaz has totally lost it. Wait here. You can't. He'll kill Mike if he sees anyone trying to get close. He won't see me. I see anything that looks even a little bit like a bat, and this guard dies. Do you hear me? <laughs> Oracle was forced to resign as Batgirl when she was shot through the spine and paralyzed from the waist down by the Joker and Alan Moore's The Killing Joke. 
She didn't let her resolve falter, though, and found a new way to aid Batman in his war on crime. As for Zaz, like Batman, he was born into wealth, although his parents died in a boating accident rather than a mugging. Zaz has got my buddy. He's gonna fry him. Do something, please. Keep him occupied. I need to get behind him. I've got to get close enough to Zaz to strike. He'll see me coming on the ground, so I'll stay up high. Zaz squandered his wealth gambling, losing the last of it to the He's penguin. About to commit suicide, he was mugged by a homeless man and killed him, realizing in that man's eyes the meaninglessness of life and Have vowing enough. to liberate others as he had that man. Zaz is down but not for long. Someone put this animal back in his cell. Like my new uniform. Pretty hot, huh? Oh, I got something to show you. One second, B Man. Ta -da! I'm now subbing for the old man. Old Sharp has never been happier. In case you ain't figured it out, today is the Joker's big homecoming, and you're the guest of honor. You have one chance to surrender, Quinn. Tempting bats, but no dice. Now the inmates are running the asylum. Well, technically, the Joker's goons shipped him from Blackgate. But you get the idea. Bye-bye for now. Batman, you picking this up? Oracle, I'm here. Arkham Asylum just vanished off the network. He's in control of the security system. He's probably isolated it from the grid. That's not all he's done. All police feeds are reporting he's placed bombs all over Gotham. Says he'll detonate them if anyone sets foot on Arkham Island. It's being suppressed at the moment, but the story will break any time now. He's lying. It's just a diversion to keep people away. How do you know? I know him. Harley Quinn. Once Dr. Harleen Quinzel, she was a psychologist naively fascinated by the minds of super criminals, particularly that of the Joker. Studying him, she fell into his orbit, sympathizing with him, her mind twisting to become something akin to his own. This is our first Riddler trophy. There are dozens of them all across Arkham Island, but we'll be talking to the Riddler about this later. These Joker teeth scattered across the game are also part of the Riddler's challenges. A quick batarang will deal with them. Decontamination room. Toxins detected. They're trapped in there. Warning. Decontamination room. Area sealed. What is that stuff? Joker toxin. Listen, the room is full of poison gas. Anyone caught in there is dead. Are you gonna get in there and help them, Batman? No, I'm just going up here where the Wi-Fi is better so I can surf the bat internet. I can only assume that in the world of video games and movies there was some secret conspiracy of architects which made certain that all the world's air ducts would be both man-sized and soundproof. This isn't a simple escape attempt. Joker's been planning this. Over here! Please! You're gonna be fine. Stay here. With one hand. Because I'm Batman. I've noticed that more recent games have adopted forgiving designs like this. Rather than falling in a pit or poison Batman gas being here. an instant game over, we're longer, given a way please. out of the situation that makes sense, avoiding both the potential monotony of repeated failure and the feeling that the game is coddling us. I'm going after the animal who did this. Batman! The extraction system! Steve was trying to get to the control panel at the end of the room! I can't believe he left me here! That son of a... <laughs> I like opportunities like this, where we get to play around and let the bad guy oh, sweat it out. All I need, Batman. Good night. Not to be outdone by Superman, Batman can use his detective vision to highlight important objects in the environment, as well as shoot hard-boiled detectives out of his eyes. The last part is not true. 
Joker's infamous Joker toxin. Once they breathe it in, the victim will be unable to stop laughing, and they will laugh until finally they asphyxiate, dying with a smile on their face. More distractions. If we're quick, maybe we can stop the Joker in time before he can hurt anyone else. Either way, Batman won't be gentle with him once we get there. I'd like to take this moment to remind our younger viewers here at Shotgun Butterfly, this is why you should not do drugs. What is Joker up to? He has always dabbled in strange biotoxins. The Joker toxin, those weird fish with the painted faces. Look it up, that's totally a storyline. Where did he get this thing? He has never shown any unwillingness to put the lives of his henchmen on the line. And I can only guess that goes for test subjects as well. Whatever the Joker has done to this man, it has amplified his strength many fold, but decreased his intelligence and agility significantly. Lesser thugs can sometimes dodge a batarang, but this brute will take them straight in the face, letting us dodge out of his way while he charges in blindly and letting us land a few blows. As you can see thus far, combat in Arkham Asylum is more about rhythm, timing, and being aware of your environment than anything else. So long as you play close attention to these things, there is generally no reason why you can't play every encounter perfectly. When you fail, it is infuriating to realize you could have done better, and it inspires you to try harder. But when you manage to pull off a perfect combat sequence, especially against a very large group of enemies, there are few things so satisfying and rewarding. What? Something is wrong. stronger test subjects. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll give you this one for free. Knock me off! I dare you. End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! <laughs> oh, you're getting so predictable, man! Stay in the chat, but I have a party to organize. I've got guests flying in from all over Arkham. You'll see. <laughs> 